from April to August, this island becomes the home of the largest southern UK population of puffins. This is Skoma Island. The Puffins UK summer holiday is in full swing. They came here with one thing on their mind, to breed. Puffins mate for life. On this island, old lovers return to each other after being apart for the whole of winter. And new puffins arrive hopeful, equipped with the art of seduction and ready to find their own lifelong partner. If you're one of the unlucky puffins whose partner didn't turn up, you don't have to look far to find a new mate and start again. Perhaps this should come with a word of warning, because if the old partner turns up just a little later than expected, their bond is so great they'll ditch their new mate for their old, who of course will be very forgiving. They have these amazing characteristic faces, this bright parrot-like beak with fleshy rosettes at the side, and it's such a stark contrast to the monochrome feathers. But this is the puffin's finest attire, and they adorn it only for the breeding season to impress new partners and old lovers. When it gets to winter, they'll shed their beak, and their faces will become darker in colour, and even the yellow will drain out of their feet. They're quite amazing, aren't they? Courting puffins are often found performing a ritual called billing, where the couple greet each other, head bowed and dramatically swinging from side to side, followed by the clashing of beaks. This courtship dance often draws in a crowd of onlookers. There's definitely no privacy for the couple here. If the couple have been lucky, before long they'll have a little puffling to look after, which will be hidden away in one of the island's many burrows. But feeding this little ball of fluff is no easy task. The parents have to launch themselves off the cliff to hunt and fly the treacherous journey back, dodging all the island's predators. But danger has a habit of following the puffins back to dry land. They have to remain vigilant because a gull could be waiting to steal a puffling's dinner or make a meal of the puffin itself. It's just the way of life here on Skoma. Come late July to August, under the cover of darkness, the pufflings will be ready to fledge. They'll leave the island, live a life out at sea for up to two years before coming back home to eventually find their own mate for life. <laughs>